तो मोहम्मद इज द रसूल्लाह थ्री टाइम इज नेम इज अकर्ड बाई रसूल्लाह वमा मोहम्मद इला रसूल कद खद मिन कबली रसूल मोहम्मद रसूल्लाह वल्लिन मा व शिद कुफार रोहमा बैनम मोहम्मद रसूल्लाह टू टाइम्स वमा मोहम्मद इला रसूल वन टाइम सेकेंड टाइम मोहम्मद रसूल्लाह वल्लिन मा व शदिल कुफार टू टाइम थर्ड टाइम मा काना मोहम्मद आबा हद मिन रिजाल वला के रसूल्लाह वला के रसूल्लाह वलाकिर रसूल्ला व खातम नबीन खातम नबीन खातम नबीन दीज आर द प्रॉफिट्स मोहम्मद रसूल्ला इज द सील ऑफ द प्रॉफिट्स सील सील ऑफ द प्रॉफिट्स दीज आर द प्रॉफिट्स सील ऑफ द प्रॉफिट सील ऑफ द प्रॉफिट सील ऑफ द प्रॉफिट्स इफ यू से इज द प्रॉफिट सील Great point. <laughs> I am not believe me. I am not a magic. Allah has taught me. Believe me, I am not lying to you. Because how can he be Khatam al Anbiya <laughs> if he's a if he's a Nabi? Yeah. So look, he's no Muhammad man. Muhammad is Khatam al Nabi. Seal of the Prophet. Seal of the Prophet. Seal of the Prophet. <laughs> <laughs> he was very angry. On me. I said, what? What? I didn't remove it. It's not there. He's not. The, he's a seal of the prophets. and you know khatam is a, is a, means seal he is not a khatim sealer you know khatim means sealer he is the seal the seal he, he allah sees the prophet you should like this allah uses muhammad rasul as the seal of the prophets actually seal allah seals and used muhammad rasul as a seal of the prophets why are you getting angry man <laughs> You understand? Yeah. You say you are trying to before you are sleeping. Now you don't feel sleepy. <laughs> yes, you 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 surprise what's going on, man. I thought Muhammad Sheikh is a good guy. He doesn't know what guy. Yes, sir. So I'm talking about hadith. Now there is no mention of Muhammad Rasulullah any relation in the Quran. Any. No mother, no father, no brother, no sister, no wife, no daughter. Nothing. So now listen. Where is this mention? Hindu Hindu Vedas. Muhammad name is mentioned. Hindu Vedas before the so-called Adis. Hindu Vedas is mentioned. Muhammad. His father is there mentioned. His wife name is mentioned. His mother name is mentioned. Hindu Vedas. Indian Vedas book. Ancient book. In 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 Avesta. In Gita. In 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 in, in Bible. All the other books are creating a man of history. a man of history he is the messenger of god muhammad rasul is the messenger of god but you are describing that is the father is mentioned in the books is mentioned in the iranian books he is mentioned in the bible the man and the father and the husband and the wife and, and four khalifs also mentioned in the abadas allah did not describe no relation with muhammad in the quran where the book of hadith and book of uh, vedas and book of gita and, and avesta from the iranian book they are talking about muhammad the man and love this man love this man died for this man what for <laughs> you know the relation they have drawn they are made so much love they want to kill themselves and kill in the name of muhammad they they passing a law that prophet name again the prophet comes why don't say the messenger prophet name should not be this is respectful they pass a law in europe and europe if you do it you will be punished the, the name of prophet is mentioned so i am question did quran say about all this so why i am talking about hadith is anything you speak is not in the book ab jo yaar leke hadith hai bible ke aur bhagwat gita ke aur is vesta ke pade to kaun kaun kitab mein lag rahe mohammad ka zikr hai mohammad puri duniya mein mohammad kitab mein zikr hai har kis nahi ये उन्होंने नाम बना रखे ये फलाना हो जाए मोहम्मद बिन अब्दुल्ला थे और फिर फलाने थे और जो उनकी बीबी बच्चे सब कुरान में नहीं है तो ये बाइबल में बता रहे हैं भगवत गीता बता रहे हैं वस्ता बता रहे हैं उनके रिलीजन में यानी मोहम्मद मशीन अदर स्क्रिप्चर्स हदीस है और बाइबल के और भगवत गीता के और इस वेस्ता की पदे कौन कौन किताबों में लाग रहे हैं मोहम्मद का जिक्र है मोहम्मद पूरी दुनिया में मोहम्मद किताबों जिक्र है हर किस नहीं
یہ انہوں نے نام بنا رکھے یہ فلانا ہو جائے محمد بن عبداللہ تھے اور پھر فلانا تھے اور یوں کی بی بی بچے سب قرآن میں نہیں ہیں تو یہ بائبل میں بتا رہے ہیں بھگوہ دیتا بتا رہے ہیں ویستہ بتا رہے ہیں ان کے ریجنج میں یعنی محمد منشن ادر سکرپچرز نیور اینی ویر اونلی ان دا بک آف اللہ جو محمد رسول اللہ صرف بک آف اللہ میں کسی کتاب میں نہیں ہے سورہ آنام سکس ان آیا ایٹی تری ایٹی فور ایٹی فائیو ایٹی سکس وَتِلْكَ حُجَّتُنَا آتَيْنَاهَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ عَلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ نَرْفَعُ دَرَجَاتٍ مَنْ نَشَاءٍ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ حَكِيمٌ عَلِيمٌ وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ إِسْحَاقٍ وَيَعْقُوبٍ كُلًّا هَدَيْنَا وَنُوحًا هَدَيْنَا مِنْ قَبْلٍ وَمِنْ ذُلِيَتِهِ دَابُودٍ سُلَيْمَانٍ وَأَيُّوبٍ وَيُوسُفٍ وَمُوسَى وَحَارُونَ وَكَذَلِكَ نَزِّلْ مُعْسِنِينَ وَزَكَرِيَا وَيَحْيَا وَعِيسَى وَإِلْيَاسِ كُلٌّ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ وَإِسْمَعِلَ وَالْيَسَعَ وَيُونُسَ وَلُوطَ وَكُلًّا فَضَّلَّ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ And that was the reason that we gave it to Ibrahim, that is Abraham, to use over his people. We raise the grace whom we will. Surely your Lord is full of wisdom and knowledge. And we donated for him Ishaq. Isaac and Yaqub, Jacob, we guided all. And from before we guided Nuh, Noah, and from his offsprings, Dawood, David, Sulaiman, Solomon, and Ayyub, Job, and Yusuf, Joseph, and Musa, Moses, and Harun, Aaron. And likewise, we reward those who do good. And Zechariah, and Yahya, John, Isa, Jesus, Elias, 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 all from those who correct themselves. And Ismail, Ismail, and Yasa, Elisha, and Yunus, Jonah, and Lut, Lot. All and all those, all were those whom we favored over the worlds. I am reading these verses to emphasize only one point. That these are the names of of the messengers and prophets. If you count these names, there will be 18. 18 names of these prophets. And if you go to next page, you will see Surah Maryam 19 and 56. وَاسْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ إِدْرِيسِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ صِدِّقًا نَبِيًّا And remember Idris in Al-Kitab, the book, surely he was a true prophet. So up till now, I have read 18 those pro names and this is the 19 name. Previously, I just read the names. Ayat. And in Surah al Inam 6 and 89, I will read and you will see that those names, after those names, this ayat is mentioned. فَإِنْ يَكْفُرْ بِهَا هَا أُولَيْ فَقَدْ وَكَّلْنَا بِهَا قَوْمًا لَيْسُ بِهَا بِكَافِرِينَ These 18 and 19, these are those whom we gave Al-Kitab, the book, and Al-Hukum, the government, and An-Nabuwa, the prophecy. So if these reject with it, so without doubt, we will advocate with it to the people who will never be the rejecters with it. Now in this, if you note, in the Arabic, we read at least 18 prophets and one at least 19 prophets. To all of them, Allah says, we gave them Al-Kitab, the book, Al-Hukum, the, the government, and An-Nabuwa, the prophecy. So to all these 19 prophets, that means they are prophets of Allah. That is the difference between Messenger and prophets. At the moment, I'm telling you, these are the prophets to whom we gave the book, the hukum, the government, the book, Al Kitab, the book, the hukum, the government, and the nubuwa, the prophecy. And if these people at all times reject them, if these reject with it, so without doubt, we will advocate with it to the people who will never be the rejectors with it. So if in all times people are rejecting that the 18 prophets I named, 
God Al Kitab the book. You see, I, I didn't. You, in the world, they are the, the 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 teachings is that there were four books. To to Musa there was a different book. To Jesus was a different book, and to Dawood was a different book, and to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a different book. But when I read this ayahs, the names were nineteen, and the book is singular. The book is singular. Nineteen prophets are mentioned with singular book. ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه. That is the book which does not have a doubt. هدى للمتقين a guidance to those who guard. So why I am reading these ayahs to emphasize the point that these are the prophets, and these are the nineteen prophets mentioned in the book. But kitab is singular. The book is singular. The hukum is singular. The government is singular. The nubuwat is prophecy singular. There may be 19 prophets, but the book is one. This is the important point we are discussing. Now, what Allah says to the prophets, these prophets. Next page, 19 and 20, Ali Imran 3 and Ayah 81. Wa idha khada Allahu mitha kan nabiyin, lama ataytukum min kitab wa hikma. ثم جاءكم رسول مصدق لما معكم لا تؤمنون به ولا تنصرونه قال أقررتم وأخذتم على ذلك مصري قالوا أقررنا قال فشهدوا وأنا معكم من الشاهدين. And when Allah took the covenant from the prophets of what I give gave to you from the book and the wisdom, then comes to you a messenger. Confirming of what is with you, definitely you will believe with it, and definitely you will help him. He said, "Do you agree? And would you hold on to my Lord?" They said, "We do agree." He said, "So bear witness, and I am from those who bear witness with you." Okay, now again, the you must understand what I was talking is that Allah has taken a Covenant with the prophets in plural, telling them that we, I give you from the book and the wisdom. We have already read the, the prophets were given the book and the hukum and nubuwa. We have already read before and here also. Lama lama atay tuku min kitabin wa hikma that we I gave you from the book and the wisdom. Allah is giving to the prophets and taking a covenant, and the covenant is after giving you from the book and the wisdom. Then, thumma jaakum rasulum musaddiqul lima maakum. Then comes to you a singular messenger, confirming what is with you. This singular messenger is Muhammad Rasulullah. Singular messenger coming, confirming what is with you, and with the prophet is the book, singular book, and with the prophet is the wisdom or the hukum, the government. But the messenger is singular, confirming what is with you. Definitely, you will believe with it, and definitely you will help him. To the prophets, the covenant is that you have to help the messenger, and you will believe with what he will confirm what is with you. He said, Allah said, "Do you agree, prophets? Do you agree? And would you hold on to my Lord? This is the Lord of Allah. Put on the prophets that the messenger will come and confirm what is with you." And do you agree and help him? Help him, that messenger. Do you take my Lord? They said we do agree. He says so. You bear witness. All the prophets should bear witness, and I am from those who bear witness with you. This was an covenant taken by the prophets and Allah, and in among that covenant is a messenger coming to you. Confirming what is with you, coming to you, a messenger is coming and confirming what is with you, and you will believe with it what he confirms, and you will help him, help the messenger, and you should agree. And this would be ho holding on Allah's Lord, on the on to the prophets. This Allah's Lord, they have to agree to this. They said we do agree, the prophets, because if you go forward in Surah An'am six. Six and ayah ninety. 
اولائک الذین حد اللہ فبہدا مقتدی قلع اس الکم علیہ اجرا ان ہوا اللہ ذکر للعالمین دے آر دوز میننگ دوز پروفیس ٹو ہوم اللہ گائیڈڈ سو امیٹیٹ دیر گائیڈنس سے آئی ڈو نوٹ کوشن یو آف اینی ریوارڈ اوور ایٹ ایف ایٹ ایز دین ایکسپٹ دی ریمیمبرنس فور آل دی ورلڈز دس آل دس منشن ان دی ایٹین پروفیس دے آر دوز دیز پروفیس آر دوز ہوم اللہ گائیڈڈ اولائک اللہ دین حد اللہ فبی ہدا ہو مقتدی سو امیٹیٹ دیر گائیڈنس گائیڈنس آف دوز ایٹین پروفیٹس سی آئی ڈو نوٹ کوشن یو آف اینی ریوارڈ اوور ایٹ ایٹ ایز ایکسپ ای میسیج اور سوری ریمیمبرنس فور آل ورلڈز دیس ایز ریمیمبرنس ان ہوا اللہ ذکر للعالمین اللہ ایز آسکنگ تو سی دیس that if you follow their guidance whose guidance those 18 19 prophets guidance if you follow their guidance so imitate their guidance what they receive the 19 prophets say i do not question you of any reward over that it is less than it is no less than except the remembrance for all worlds this is said to be said by muhammad rasulullah to these people that imitate the guidance that the prophets received those 19 prophets and he is confirming what they have got with them Muhammad Rasulullah so this is how he becomes what in the next ayah Surah Al-Azab 33 and ayah 40 مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَحَدٍ مِنْ رِجَالِكُمْ وَلَاكِنْ رَسُولُ اللَّهُ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمًا Muhammad was not the father or ancestor from any of you men but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets and Allah has knowledge of all things this was the whole why I have to discuss this how he is the seal of the prophets how how Muhammad Rasulullah is the seal of the prophets is how that he all these prophets are given the book all these prophets are given the hukum the government all these prophets are given the wisdom to these prophets but the messenger Muhammad Rasulullah comes and confirms what is with them because he verifies confirms or verifies what is with them and this is how Allah said that Muhammad was not the father and sister from any of your men he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets he is the seal of the prophets this is how he becomes the seal of the prophets so he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of the prophets وَكَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْنْ عَلِيمًا and Allah has knowledge of all things so how would Muhammad Rasulullah become the seal of all these prophets 19 prophets are mentioned in the Quran Surah Ali Imran وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولُ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهُ الرُّسُولُ أَفَإِمْ مَا تَوْ خُتِلًا قَلَبْتُمْ عَلَىٰ أَعْقَابِكُمْ وَمَنْ يَنْقَلِبْ عَلَىٰ قِبَيْهِ فَلَنْ يَضُرَّ اللَّهَ شَيْئًا وَسَيَزِّ اللَّهُ الشَّاكِرِينَ And Muhammad is not except a messenger without doubt messengers pass away before him then what if he died or killed would you move away over your heels and who moves away over his heels he can never give loss in anything to Allah and Allah will soon give reward to those who are thankful now in this ayah you see again and again Allah is clarifying the position of Muhammad Rasulullah he says Muhammad is not then what except a messenger a messenger of Allah messenger without doubt messengers have passed away before him messengers I have already mentioned there were prophets and messengers these names I told you there were prophets and messengers and there were three four messengers that have passed away I have named them Shweb al-Islam Ayyub Shweb al-Islam Saleh al-Islam Hud al-Islam they are messengers but these prophets that I named are also messengers but they are prophets also so let's say messengers have passed away before him okay then he is asking a question 
then what if he died or killed? Would you move away over your heels? And who moves away over his heels, then he can never give loss in anything to Allah. Now this is a question that is being posed to mankind in all times. That if Muhammad Rasulullah died or killed, would you move away over your heels? Meaning, will you turn back from the message of Allah? Which Muhammad Rasulullah recited, this Quran was revealed on him. We have read this ayah. Would you turn away from this message? Will you move away for over your heels if he died or killed? So the ayat here is referring, to, is questioning, is meaning something else. That you are bothered about his death, whether he died, whether he was killed or whether he's alive. That's the problem in the world. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a man or a messenger. He is alive or is he dead? Or is he killed? No, this is the, this is the problem among the so-called labeled Muslim society. They are talking about is he alive? Then is he dead or is he killed? Three things. And there are big schools of thoughts talking about it. So Allah is also asking, would you move away over your heels? What the message is, you are not looking at the message. You are talking about his life and death and what he is alive or not. Is this that important? The question is, would you move away over your heels? Meaning what the message that Quran has come to us as a guidance for mankind, we take the guidance. Now in Surah Al-Fatah 48, Ayah 29. Muhammad Rasulullah walladhina ma'a wa shiddaa'u ala al-kuffar ruhumaa'u baynahum taraahum rukka'an sujjadan yabtaguna fadlan min Allahi wa ridwana seemaahum fi wujuhihim min athri sujood thalika mathalum fi al-tawraah wa mathalum fi al-injil kazzarin akhraja al-shat'ah fa'azarahu fa'staghladha fa'stawa ala suqih yu'jibu al-zurra'a liyagheedha bihum al-kuffar وعد الله الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات منهم مغفرة وأجر عظيم. محمد is the messenger of Allah and those who are with him are more stronger over the rejecters and are merciful between them. You will see them bowing, prostrating, seeking the bounty and good pleasures from Allah. They have marks, recognitions from the effects of prostrations in their faces, personalities. That is their example in At-Tawrah, the law. Uh, that is the hukum of the government of Allah containing all the governing ayahs, signs and their examples is Al-Injil, the good news. That is the confirmation of Tawrah, the law and the Mozam sermon. It's like sowing a seed. Its shoots come out, then it strengthens, then it becomes thick, then it becomes straight over its stalk. The sowers are amazed for what he makes the rejectors furious with them. Allah has promised from them those who believe and do corrections is forgiveness and a mighty wage. Now in this ayah, there are two, three, four points. The Taurat Injil expert, I will not discuss because the lecture is different what the Quran says about Taurat Injil. But the question is, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Muhammad is Muhammad Rasulullah. Walladina ma'u ashidda al kuffar. Now the personality of Muhammad Rasulullah and who are with him. What are, what are the personality behavior of Muhammad Rasulullah and his people who are with him? Muhammad is a messenger of Allah and those who are with him are more stronger over the rejectors and are merciful between them. Rahmau Bainam. In all times, that is the status of Muhammad Rasulullah with his companions. What is Muhammad Rasulullah? They are strong over the rejectors and rohamau bainahum. They are merciful amongst each other or between them. So when you believe and you read that history, you are still fighting amongst each other. You are not followers of Muhammad Rasulullah. You are lying to yourself because you have been reading such things and continuously you are fighting and killing each other till today. Still today you are doing the same thing. If you are followers of Muhammad Rasulullah, the, the example or the personality behavior of Muhammad Rasulullah is 
that he is compassionate, merciful between the believers and he is strong over the rejectors. Though those people who reject the ayahs of Allah, he is Muhammad Rasulullah and his companions or the uh, followers are strong against the rejectors and merciful amongst the believers. And look for they say, Tarahum Rukka and Sujja Dain Yap Taguna Fadla min Allah Ridwana. You will see them bowing, prostrating, seeking the bounty and good pleasures from Allah. What bowing? What what prostrating? One is the bowing, you see in the in the salah, you see you bow, you see bow, and you see the prostration, people prostrate. Don't you? But do you bow in your psychology, psychology in the eyes of for in for, uh, for the eyes of Allah? Or ayahs of Allah. You see, the ayah says that they are, you will see them bowing, prostrating, seeking the bounty and the good pleasures of Allah. If you know that Allah is Razi on these ayahs, what I do and implement, if you are seeking that, you are bowing to that, you are prostrating on that, then you are seeking bounty from Allah and Razi, Allah's Razi, Razi of Allah because He says, uh, the the prostrate seeking the bounty and good pleasures of Allah. you are you are you you want to bow to Allah's ayahs the essence of the message of Allah or you are prostrating on Allah's ayat and the essence of Allah and you want his good pleasure you don't want to annoy him if you really truly doing so then you are one of them then Allah says they have marks recognition from the effects of the prostration in their in their faces and personalities that is the effect if you are fearful of allah if you are fearful for your account on the day of judgment and you want allah's uh, good pleasures then you you you'll have that face the people can recognize you you will have marks of your prostration this this behavior because you are seeking Allah's bounty, Allah's bounty and Allah's good pleasure is by submitting to the ayahs and the essence. So there is a face, you know, face is conscious of the, uh, of the ayahs. You know, you can understand when a person is in love, you can see his face. You know, if a person is in love with somebody, girl or girl is in love with guy. And when somebody is angry, somebody is annoyed, somebody is happy, somebody is jealous, you can't see the faces. Can't you people see the faces? Or can't you? Don't you? Can you see those faces? So when a person is more conscious of making Allah to please Allah, his face is different. That is their example in the Torah. First of all, look this. I say, Dalika, Dalika, Mathalam fit Torah. Wa Mathalam fil Injil. That is the example, this personality behavior of Muhammad Rasulullah and his companion's example is the example in where? In the Taurat, the law. In the Injil, the good news. Taurat and Injil has come with Muhammad Rasulullah and his companion. Do you know this? The whole Quran teaches about Taurat and Injil. The word Taurat and Injil has come with Muhammad Rasulullah and his companion. An example is in, in the personality of Taurat. Do you know Taurat? These guys know Taurat? I'm asking you, believe me. Okay, after the lecture you can discuss, the people do not know Torah and Allah is describing their personality is in that Torah and the Injil. Look, Dalika Mathalam of Torah wa Mathalam fil Injil. Whose who's example? The Muhammad Rasulullah and his companion's example. So what I is not this mark, it is the personality behavior that is example is in the Torah, the law and the Injil, the good news. And if you refer that this is the Bible, which, which you say it is mentioned in, the, in this Bible, Muhammad and his companions and example is mentioned in the Bible. If you refer this as Torah and Injil. If you people refer this Torah and Injil, Gospel according to Mark, Matthew, Luke and John, and they say Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, the Numbers and Deuteronomy, Old Testament, the New Testament. If you refer to this, you can never find Muhammad Rasulullah and his example in this book at all. There are 3,000 versions of the Bible. You will not find this example. Thalika mathalam al-Tawrat wa mathalam fil Injil. The example of Muhammad Rasulullah and his companions in the Old Testament and the New Testament of the Bible at all. No, you will not find. This behavior 
you will see them because because they are like this you will because how why they are like this because you will see them bowing prostrating seeking the bounty and the good pleasures from allah they have marks of recognition from the effects of prostration in their faces and personalities here is not referring to physical face here is referring to the face of the personality by behavior that is their example in the torah the law zalika mathalahum at-tawrah wa mathalahum fil injil and their example in the injil so how can you sh- and, and nobody have you ever heard that quran in the quran that taurat and injil words has occurred with muhammad rasulullah and his, 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 his companions anybody in the in the room in the hall never he is allah is giving you this but you don't we will don't read this Are you reading it not reading it that is the example zalika mathalun fi tawrat wa mathalun fil injil this behavior this their this their example is in the tawrat the law in the injil the good news and it is how it explained is like sowing of a seed a shoot comes out then it strengthens then it becomes thick then it becomes straight over a stalk the sowers are amazed for he makes the rejectors furious with them allah has promised from them those who believe and do corrections is forgiveness and a mighty wage this example is also explained how this example is this example of of the taurat injil is a defined further is like sowing a seed this small seed you know small seed is sown in the ground then a little it shoots comes out little small little shoots comes out and then it strengthens and it becomes thick and it becomes straight over a stalk big huge this is called the tana huh this big tree the sowers are amazed for what allah makes the rejectors furious with them and allah has promised from them those who believe and do correction is forgiveness and the might now what is this example this example is that these believers they are compassionate loving each other and they are strong against the unbelievers or rejectors they they their example in the taurat and injil is like that that a seed is put in like if i start or you people start we people start following the message of allah is like a seed thrown into the ground and then a little stalk comes little belief comes in ourselves we start believing it and we start believing to an extent that we become like a big tree shada tayyib but not mentioned here uh, it is like a shoot comes out like a, like a big uh, thick becomes a straight over the stalk it stands big huge thing the behavior of the believers the behavior of the believers is described like 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 this against the non believers and they are strong against the rejectors and compassionate or merciful among each other this is their behavior this is their recognition and the marks on their faces this is the character that they are they are implying and that is the example in the taurat and injil the law and the and the good news that is the example so quran in the quran muhammad rasulullah and his companions name and their example is in the taurat the law and injil the good news so if anybody wants to know what is the taurat injil you have to watch this a separate lecture what the quran says about taurat injil because their behavior is mentioned the taurat injil not what the bible is i'm not referring to the bible the taurat injil so you have to see different lecture there's a whole lecture